innovation, every invention, every path-breaking effort begins with a dream. And then any innovation, be it a device, a machine, a process, a technology, it must travel the distance from dream to reality and meet the requirements of our combat forces. To summarize, any innovation must finally be combat ready, credible, cohesive and future proof. Deviyon aur sajjano ab aapke saamne maaniniya raksha mantri ji ki bhavya upasthiti mein nai uplabdhiyon ka prakshepan hooga. Kuch vishesh sansthano, kuch innovators ko sammanit kiya jayega. Jaisa ki aapne exhibition mein dekha, humare desh ke ye jo bulan scientists, engineers, entrepreneurs aur innovators hain इनकी मेहनत से कुछ ऐसी नई इनोवेशंस हुई हैं जिनसे आर्म फोर्सेस को तो बहुत लाभ होगा और भविष्य में पूरे समाज देश के कोने कोने में प्रगति की क्रांति अग्रसर रहेगी तो सबसे पहले हम देखेंगे स्वावलंबन 2.0 इंडियन नेवी इंडिजिनाइजेशन प्लान का लॉन्च the Navy has always been at the forefront of indigenization efforts. It is important that the industry be kept informed about the specific requirements of the Indian Navy, which includes present, emerging and future requirements of the Navy. We are today unveiling the updated latest version of Indian Navy's indigenization plan named Swavlamban 2.0. May I request the dignitaries to please unveil the latest version of Navy's indigenization plan, Swablamban 2.0. Ladies and gentlemen, yet another first. The next launch is a very special launch, but more than being special, it's a revolutionary launch. Ladies and gentlemen, in accordance with the revolutionary vision of our Honorable Prime Minister, Sri Narendra Modi, to build a digital economy as a core strength of digital India, the Indian Navy in collaboration with the State Bank of India has developed a unique dual-chip prepaid card for conducting electronic payment transactions of non-public funds and regimental funds on board Indian naval ships, including when they are at sea and without access to internet. This is called the SBI NAV eCash card. This project was initiated two years back in 2021 on board our aircraft carrier INS Vikramaditya. And thereafter, successfully tested as a pilot project, on board naval ships in each naval command, INS Vikrant at the Southern Naval Command, INS Vishakhapatnam at the Western Naval Command, and INS Ranvijay at the Eastern Naval Command. This unique dual chip prepaid card enables individuals or their families or friends to load their NAV eCash card online through an exclusive SBI website. These cards are prepaid and can be topped up electronically via various online payment gateways. The system will be very useful for all our armed forces establishments, including forward defense units. Dosto, innovation, indigenization, hardware, software, or technologies ka ye ek krantikari samagam, ek krantikari uplabdi hai. Zara sochye, ye aisi innovation hai jiska lab bhavishwame pure vishwame sabhi mariners ko hoga. Navy or State Bank of India ki innovation Navy ke liye, Bharat ke liye aur bhavishya mein poore vishwa ke liye aisi kranti kari prayas ki prerna kaha se mili Vasudev Kutumbakam One world, one family, one future I request the following dignitaries to please join us on stage for the launch of the SBI NAV eCash card. 
Vice Admiral Deepak Kapoor, Chief of Logistics. Shri Alok Kumar Chaudhary, Managing Director, State Bank of India, Retail Banking. मैं निवेदन करता हूं माननीय रक्षा मंत्री श्री राजनाथ सिंह जी से कृपया एस बी आई नैब ई कैश कार्ड का लॉन्च करें ताकि भारतीय नौसेना के हर शिप्स एस्टेब्लिशमेंट स्कूल और रेजिडेंशियल एरिया में डिजिटल इंडिया की दिशा में हम अग्रसर हो क्योंकि हमारा लक्ष्य है वन नेवी वन कार्ड We now move on to the signing of Memorandum of Understanding. The Defense Innovation Organization, DIO, and the Navy Innovation and Indigenization Organization, NIIO, are closely working uh, with a number of stakeholders for furthering the shared vision of Atmanirbhad Bharat. A number of MOUs were signed during and also just prior to Swablamban. I would first like to invite the MOU partners, the signatories, to please join us on stage for a group photograph with our chief guest. The innovation industry partners, Big Bang Boom Solutions, TSC Technologies, Academy partner, IIT Gohati, banking partners, Yes Bank and the Union Bank of India, IDEX Investors, Let's Venture, Botlab Dynamics, and partner incubators. I'll keep reading out your name. Ladies and gentlemen, you can come onto the stage, present yourself before the dignitaries, and line up behind for a group photograph. Partner Incubator Center for Innovation and Entrepreneurship, AIC RNTU Foundation, PSG CT Science and Technology Entrepreneurial Park, Crescent Innovation and Incubation Council, Amity Technology Incubator, Krishna Path Incubation Society TBI, Indian Institute of Information Technology Bangalore Innovation Center, Technology Business Incubator NIT Calicut, Incubation Center IIT Patna. I would now like to invite the following dignitaries to please join us on stage. Shri T. Natrajan, Additional Secretary, Defense Production. Rear Admiral Arjun Dev Nair, Assistant Chief of Naval Staff, Staff Requirements. Shri Anurag Bajpai, Joint Secretary, Defense Industries Production. And Rear Admiral Brijesh Vashisht, Director General, Naval Armament Inspectorate. The next release is for INVENT and this ecosystem comes out with some great sounding acronyms. INVENT stands for IDEX Navy Venture for Technology. Venture capital has a huge role to play in innovation. IDEX already has IDEX Innovators Hub for harnessing the potential of private funding, be it venture capitalists, angel investors, banks or others. The NIIO is joining hands with the DIO to work together towards a shared goal 
of creating an ecosystem of defense innovation including through venture capital funds i request the following dignitaries to please join us on stage for the exchange of mous rear admiral arjun dev nayar assistant chief of naval staff staff requirements and shri anurag bajpay joint secretary defense industries production The next chapter is the positive indigenization list. Iska naam bhi positive hai aur kaam bhi positive hai. In pursuance of Government of India's Atmanirbhar Bharat Abhiyan and in order to transform Indian defense and aerospace sector with active participation of public and private sector for fulfilling the twin objectives of self-reliance and exports, four positive indigenization lists of 411 items have already been promulgated by the department of military affairs ministry of defense with approval of the honorable raksha mantri shri rajnath singh in continuation with this process the fifth positive indigenization list comprising of 98 items is being released today by our honorable raksha mantri shri rajnath singh i request the following dignitaries to please join us on stage for the unveiling of the fifth positive indigenization list may i request Vice Admiral Atul Anand, Additional Secretary, Department of Military Affairs, Ministry of Defence, and Rear Admiral K M D, retired, to please join us on stage. That's a new list of 98 items, and I can see big smiles on the faces of members from the Indian industry. Good show. We now move on to the launch of DISC-10. This stands for yet another fancy acronym. Stands for Defence India Startup Challenge. And now we have the launch that the entire industry has been waiting for. We shall be launching 76 challenges for the industry this year under DISC-10 and DISC-10 Prime. The number 76 resonates. with our 76th year of independence these challenges include problem statements from all three services the indian coast guard defense psus border roads organization and mission defense space in addition five problems under the idex for fogi scheme are also being launched may i request the following dignitaries to please join us on stage the director general indian coast guard shri rakesh pal Director General Defence Space Agency Air Vice Marshal Pawan Kumar Director General Border Roads Organisation Shri R K Bhiman Assistant Chief of Material Modernisation Rear Admiral Iqbal Singh Grewal In our journey towards Amrit Kal, the nation sets its sights on the inspiring vision of Viksit Bharat. Propelled by the pursuit of self-reliance within its defence ecosystem, ITX, an effort led by Ministry of Defence towards Atmanirbharta in defence. has leveraged the expertise and creativity of our nation's young entrepreneurs and startups itex is engaged with over 400 startups and msmes enabling development of more than 50 cutting edge technologies till date procurement of 28 items worth over 2000 crore rupees has been geared for the boosting our defense network Nine new partner incubators have been onboarded, continuing to foster innovation. IDEX is launching 
Disc 10 with 76 challenges and IDEX for 4G with 5 challenges. Disc 10 marks the highest number of challenges launched till date. These challenges have been received from services, Defence Space Agencies, Indian Coast Guard, DPS used and Border Roads Organization. Spread across a wide array of critical and advanced technology domains. Marching ahead in unison towards a self-reliant India. IDEX extends an open invitation to innovators, startups and MSMEs to apply. For more information, visit www.idex.gov.in. Ladies and gentlemen, the next launch is a very, very special launch. Recently, IDEX, in partnership with the United States Department of Defense, conducted the India-US Defense Acceleration Ecosystem, which is now known as Indus X event at Washington, D.C. Indus X was intended to expand the strategic technology partnership and defense industrial cooperation between the startup system, businesses, the entire ecosystem and academic institutes of India and the United States. In a short span of three months, IDEX and the U.S. Department of Defense have finalized two joint Indus X challenges under the mutual promotion of advanced collaborative technologies called IMPACT, which would also be launched today. Before I invite a very special guest onto the stage, I would like to invoke the words of the 26th President of the United States, President Theodore Roosevelt, who had said that a good Navy is not a provocation to war. It is the surest guarantee of peace. And President Theodore Roosevelt also said, and all innovators hear this carefully, President Roosevelt also said, do what you can with what you have where you are. And isn't that the driving force behind all innovations? Ladies and gentlemen, I now request the Ambassador of the United States of America to the Republic of India, Mr. His Excellency, Mr. Eric Garcetti, to please join us on stage for the launch of Indus X. I also request Sri T. Natarajan, Additional Secretary, Defense Production, and the Chief Executive Officer of Defense Innovation Organization. So if you could please join us on stage. Honorable Prime Minister's vision of Make in India, Make for World. India's Ministry of Defense and U.S. Department of Defense have launched Indus X initiative to support innovations and foster collaborations in the defense ecosystems of both nations. For the first time, IDEX, in collaboration with DIU, is launching two joint impact challenges. These challenges are undersea communication and oil spill detection, inviting innovators, startups, and MSMEs to apply. For more information, visit www.idex.gov.in or www.diu.mil. We now move on to the felicitation of IDEX winners. I now request the IDEX winners who have already signed contracts to please join us on stage for the felicitation. Your names will be displayed on the screen.
Ladies and gentlemen, let's have a round of applause. These are the winners. This way. And since you are the winners, uh, you need to have a big smile on your face, right? We now have a felicitation for a very special person, a very special team. For all of us who have been associated with the NIO, with the DIO, with Swab Lumban, we keep hearing one name all through the day in all forums. Wherever you hear NIO, TDAG, DIO, Swab Lumban, there is one name that keeps coming up over and over again. This person is a unique and formidable combination of intelligence, passion, patriotic fervor, and a deep devotion to duty. The officer in charge of TDAC, Technology Development Acceleration Cell of the Indian Navy, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Commodore Dr. Arun Pratap Gulaya. May I also request all members of TDAC to please join us on stage. You can't go like this. Jo Google ko malum nahi wo Arun Golaya ko malum hai. Ek baar zordar taaliyan ho jaye inke liye. Ladies and gentlemen, when the sun rises, the whole world shines bright with positivity and energy. In the presence of our most respected and most admired honorable defense minister, Sri Rajnath Singh, all of us in the Indian Armed Forces feel that incredible energy and positivity. Devi or Sajano, Jab Sura Jukta hai, to Pura Jahan Roshan ho jata hai. Sachai ye hai ke jab hamare Mananiya Raksha Mantri, Sri Rajnath Singh ji, kisi bhi sabha, kisi bhi samaro me aate hai, so sabhi jano ke chehre roshan, or hosle buland ho jate hai. अब उनकी आवाज सुनने को हम बेचैन हैं मैं निवेदन करता हूं हमारे मुख्य अतिथि से भारत के रक्षा मंत्री श्री राजनाथ सिंह श्रीमान कृपया सभा को संबोधित करें